what's up fam? Welcome to Scrum and Hip Hop. Picture this. Your team has been rolling with Scrum or Kanban or whatever, and they've been killing it. But somewhere down the way, your stakeholders want a new feature, but your team doesn't have the skills nor tech to do it. So to stay ahead of the game, they want to get with the vendor. But then you find out the vendor doesn't roll with Agile. When this happens, we lose our minds and we want to throw hands. And we're like, these fools are waterfall. Why can't they just be Agile? But like it says on the cover of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, don't panic. It ain't a big deal as you make it out in your head. So let hip hop be your guide. In this episode, we're gonna hit at three different ways to work with non-agile teams. When working with vendors, it's easy to fall into the habit of immediately treating them like a dependency. And thinking about it like that can easily lead into an us first them mentality. The West Coast Rap All-Stars figured it out back in 1990 on the track, we're all in the same gang. Don't you know we've got to put our heads together, make the change, because we're all in the same gang. One of the easiest ways to make vendors feel like they're part of the team is to invite them to your dailies. And not a proxy like a customer success rep or a project manager gives the people doing the work a seat at the table and assist on it. Now, if they say they can't meet for 15 minutes every day, come back with, how about three times a week? Or what about two? It's not only about streamlining communication, but sharing progress. Treat vendors like we're all in the same game. Act like y'all are a single team. For whatever reason, vendors maybe don't want to join your dailies. Sometimes it boils down to a that's not how we work kind of thing. In that case, treat them like a dependency, but sequence their work. Back in 1986, Run DMC called it out with the jam, it's tricky. It's tricky to rock a rhyme, to rock a rhyme that's right on time, it's tricky. Yeah, it can be tricky, but it's all about timing. Y'all heard the phrase, stop starting and stop finishing, right? Well, when working with vendors, we sometimes get in the habit of starting on something, then call it block, because we gotta wait around for them to finish. What happens when we flip it, and think about it this way. Instead of working on something, stopping and waiting, we could have been working on something else that didn't need their involvement the whole time. And we could have finished it. Sequence the work to revolve the dependency first. Once the vendor's done, start on your piece. Because then you can get to done without interruption. And it'll stop being tricky and you'll rock it right on time. Now y'all are familiar with team charters, working agreements, and definitions of done. We create these kind of things to be transparent about what we're doing and to make sure everyone's on the same page. Eric B and Rakim were already talking about this on the track, I Ain't No Joke, back in 1987. Write a rhyme and graffiti in, every show you see me in, deep concentration, cause I'm no comedian. Now graffiti is highly invisible. The same should be true of your shared processes and policies. We're basically taking a page out of Kanban's book. Now if we lay out that mug on a Venn diagram, they work one way, y'all work another. Figure out the overlap, collaborate, and establish processes and policies together. Write them down, be transparent, and deliver it about everything. And there you go. Three ways you can work with non-agile teams. Treat them like part of the team, pay attention to sequencing, and make process policies explicit. Now these aren't the only ways you can work with them, but at least it'll get you started and thinking about it differently. Do everything you can to come together as one team. Drop the us versus them mentality like a bad habit and working with non-agile teams won't have to be a cause for alarm. And don't sleep on hip hop. It's more than just beats, samples, and rhymes. Much love for tuning in. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next episode. This is Scrum and Hip Hop, where agile meets rhythm and poetry. And I'm out.